Greetings, Mantaray79 here, and welcome back to another deck profile video for the Card Fight Vanguard Trading Card Game. And now in today's video, the deck profile I'm gonna be going for is the standard formats: Dragon Empires, Dragonic Overlord. The end with cards from DZ Booster Four. Alrighty, let's get started. And now for the ride deck. For the cards in this ride deck, we have one Great Zero Lizard Runner Undo Starting Unit, one Great One Embodiment of Armor Bar, one Great Two Dragon Knight Nihalem, one Great Three Dragonic Overlord The End, one Ride Deck Crest Energy Generator. The Great Zero, Lizard Runner Undo, Starting Unit. Skill, Auto. When this unit is rolled upon, if you went second, draw a card. The Great One, Embodiment of Armor, Bar. Skills, First Skill, Auto. When this unit is rolled upon by a Dragon in the Hollem, cost, Counterblast 1. If the cost is paid, search your deck for up to one Great One card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Second Skill, Auto is a rear guard once per turn. When your Vanguard's attack hits, this unit gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. The Great Two, Dragon Knight Nihalem. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is rolled upon by a unit with Overlord in its card name, call this card to Rear Guard Circle. Second skill, action as a Rear Guard once per turn. If you have a Vanguard of Overlord in its card name, cost Soul Blast 1. If the cost is paid, this unit and all of your Vanguards gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. The Great Three, Dragonic Overlord, the end. Skills, first skill, continuous as a vanguard during your turn. If your soul has a Dragonic Overlord, this unit's drive cannot decrease from card effects and it gets plus 5,000 power. Second skill, auto as a vanguard once per turn. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. Cost, counter blast one and discard two cards from your hand. If the cost and paid, stand this unit and it gets drive minus one until end of turn. The right deck crest, energy generator. Skills, first skill, auto from the ride deck. When you ride, put this card into the crest zone. If you went second, energy charge three. Second skill, continuous. You may have up to 10 energy. Third skill, auto. At the beginning of your ride phase, energy charge three. Fourth skill, action, once per turn. Cost, energy blast seven. If the cost is paid, draw a card. And of that, we just about covered the ride deck. Next, let's get on to the great one lineup. And now for the Great One lineup. For the Great Ones in this deck, we are playing three Great One Drag Bitter Hall. Three Great One Guardian Monk of Raging Flames Manju. And one Great One Blitz Order Elementary Sanditude. The Great One Drag Bitter Hall. Skills First Skill Continuous. When this card will be discarded from hand, for the cost of the ability of your Vanguard of Overload in its card name, it may be regarded as discarding two cards. Second skill, Auto. When this card is discarded from hand, for the cost of the ability of your Vanguard of Overload in its card name, you may call this card to a back row regard circle. If you call it a card, this unique is plus 5,000 power until end of turn. The Great One. Guardian Monk of Raging Flames Manju, Sentinel, Perfect Guard. Skills, First Skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of Continuous Sentinel deck. Second skill, Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, choose one of your units. It cannot be hit until end of battle. If your hand has two more cards, choose a card from hand discarded. The Great One, Blitz Order, Elementary Sanditude. Skills, First Skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of Continuous Sentinel deck. Second skill, Continuous. You may only have one Elementary Sanditude in the deck. Third skill, Order. If your opponent's Vanguard is triple drive, this ability can be played without paying the cost. Place the cost of, discard a card from hand if your vanguard is grade 3 or less. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until end of battle. Move this card. And at that, we've covered the deck's grade 1 lineup. Next, let's get on to the grade 2 lineup.
And now for the Grade 2 lineup. For the Grade 2s in this deck, we are playing four Grade 2 Order Hatchet Dragon. Four Grade 2 Burning Horn Dragon. Three Grade 2 Speed Bull of Dust Storm Bertrand. Three Grade 2 Drag Raider Falheart. Two Grade 2 Ice Petal of Fiendish Beauty Mafuyu. And three, grade two, set order, dust storm killing field. The grade two, Ardor Hatchet Dragon. Skills, first skill, continuous as a guardian. If your soul is a card, overrun is carving. This unicus was 5,000 shield. Second skill, action as a rear guard. If your opponent's vanguard is going three or greater, cost, retire this unit. If you cost and pay, choose a grade three card of overlord as card name from your drop and put into soul. The Grade 2, Burning Horn Dragon. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is placed on radar circle, cost, counterblast 1. If the cost and pay, look at the top 7 cards of your deck, reveal up to 1 card with Overlord and its card name, put it into your hand and shuffle deck. If you do not reveal a card, counter charge 1. Second skill, auto is a rear guard. When your vanguard of Overlord and its card name attacks, this unit gets plus 5000 power until end of turn. The Grade 2, Speed Bull of Duststorm Bertrand. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is placed on radar circle, cost, soul blast one. If the cost and paid, search your deck for up to one. Dust storm killing field, put into order zone and shuffle deck. Second skill, continuous as a rear guard. If this unit was chosen by the ability of dust storm killing field. In your order zone this turn, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. The grade two, drag Raider Falheart. Skills, first skill, auto. When this card is put on guardian circle from hand or discarded from hand, while riding from the right deck, cost Counter Blast 1 or Energy Blast 3. If the cost and pay, draw a card. Second skill, auto. When this unit is placed on Ritter Circle, if your Persona wrote this turn, cost Counter Blast 1 or Energy Blast 3. If the cost and pay, choose a Great 1 card without Sentinel from your drop and call to the back row Ritter Circle. The Great 2 Ice Pedal of Fiendish Booty, Mafuyu. Skill, continuous from the front row Ritter Circle. During your turn, the auto abilities that cannot cannot be activated by your opponent's intercepts, and all of your opponent's units put in Guardian Circle or Radar Circle lose all of their continuous abilities and auto abilities. The Grade 2, Set Order, Dust Storm Killing Field. Skills, first skill, after set order is played, put into Order Zone. Second skill, auto from the Order Zone at the beginning of your battle phase. Choose one of your back row rear guards, and it gets boost until end of turn. And at that, we've covered the deck's Grade 2 lineup. Next, let's get on to the Grade 3 lineup. And now for the Grade 3 lineup. For the Grade 3s in this deck, we are playing 3 Grade 3 Dragonic Overlord The End. And 4 Grade 3 Dragonic Overlord. The Grade 3 Dragonic Overlord The End. Since we already explained this card's skills and effects during the Riot Deck portion of the video, let's just skip ahead. The Grade 3 Dragonic Overlord. Skills, first skill, continuous as a vanguard or rear guard. During the battle, this unit attacked a rear guard. Your opponent cannot call cards from the hand to guardian circle. Second skill, auto as a vanguard once per turn. When this unit attack hits, cost counter blast one, discard a card from hand. If the cost and paid, stand this unit, and it gets drive minus one until end of turn. And with that, you've covered the deck's Grade 3 lineup. Next, let's get on to the trigger lineup. And now for the trigger lineup. For the triggers in this deck, we are playing 1. Grade 0 Dragon DD King Resurgence, Drag Vita, Over Trigger. 4. Grade 0 Burning Flail Dragon, Critical Trigger. 3. Grade 0 Blaze Warmuck, Sogyo, Critical Trigger. 4. Grade 0 Flare Bell Dragon, Draw Trigger. 2. Grade 0, Stealth Fiend, Temari Hime, Heal Trigger. And 2. Grade 0, Drag Ritter, Salmer, Heal Trigger. The Grade 0, Dragon DD King Resurgence, Drag Vita, Over Trigger. 
Skill, trigger, additional effect. Choose one of your vanguards and stand it. Next, the Great Zero. Burning Flow Dragon, critical trigger. Skill, auto as a rear guard. At the end of the battle, this unit boosted. Cost, put this unit into your soul. If the cost and pay, choose one of your units and it gets plus 2000 power until end of turn. The Great Zero. Flare Bell Dragon, draw trigger. Skill, continuous as a guardian. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, this unit gets plus 5,000 shield. And next, the Great Zero. Stealth Fiend, Tamari Hime, Heal Trigger. Skill, Auto. When this unit is put in Guardian Circle, if your vanguard's grade is less than your opponent's vanguard grade, this unit gets plus 10,000 shield until end of battle. And at that, we've covered the deck's grades to trigger lineup for the triggers in this deck we are playing. 1. Drag Vita over Trigger. 7. Critical Triggers. 4. Draw Triggers. And 4. Heal Triggers. And of that, the deck's been built, card of 6 explained. Next, let's get on to explain the deck's main playstyle. So for the main playstyle of this deck, for just right or right line normally till grade 3, Dragonic Overlord at the end. Then, in your order zone, try to set up to 2 Dust Storm Killing Fields, one from your hand, and either you wait for the next turn to set the second one, or to use the effect of Bertrand to set another one straight to your order zone, giving you 2 to make it work with. Then in your back row, secure in the left and right columns in the back row, rear guards who can power up like Burning Horn Dragon or Bertrand. And in your front row, try to secure at least one Matthew, because with Matthew's skill, she can then restrict any skills activated by intercepting or by moving a rear guard to a guardian circle, thereby giving you more chance to pressure your opponent. And then when it's time to attack, you attack with Dragonic over the end first, giving Burning Horn Dragon its power up skill. And then again, you restand your Vanguard, then attack again, again using Burning Horn's skill to power up again. Then when it's time to attack, thanks to the Dust Storm Killing Field skill, your back row Burning Horns have the power to boost the front row, thereby giving you at least 20,000 power to boost to the front row, giving you a huge amount of power to work with. And at that, this is pretty much the main place of the deck. Just write your right line normally from tool grade 3, Dragonic Overlord at the end. Secure up to two Dust Storm Killing Fields, either play from your hands or use the effect of Bertrand. And then in your back rows, secure at least one or two Burning Horn Dragons and one Mafia in the front row. Then in the battle phase, attack your Vanguard first, using Burning Horn skill to power up. Then restand your Vanguard, attack him the Vanguard, saving your rear guards for the end. Then when Burning Horn's all powered up from your Vanguard attacks, you can then use Dust Storm Killing Field skill in the order zone to give your rear guard Burning Horns the ability to boost, thereby giving you a huge amount of power to work with. At the same time, Mafia use skill can also restrict your opponent's intercepts, skills, and re rear guard to guardian circle skills. And okie dokie, the deck that is pretty much the deck's main playstyle. And of that, that's just about the time we have for today. First, I want to say is thank you to the viewers for watching today's video and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also be all sure to support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And of that, I say goodbye and see you all soon.